Hey everyone, it's been a long time since I've been on YouTube and I came up with a creative new idea and I wanted to show it with y'all. I'm a little scared and uh, it's out of my realm of creativity. I haven't done anything with this. Um, but a very, very long time ago, oh man, uh, probably about 10 years ago, something like that, my husband had a wild whim of like let's buy some rubies and so he went on ebay and he bought me a bunch of these little baggies that say rubies on them now i've looked at them and i've tumbled some of them and they end up being like ugly little black rocks but yet they have this weird geometric kind of shine that almost looks like a fingerprint and so they're interesting. I've used hammers on them and I've gotten them to like go into bezels that weren't like the best made bezels. <laughs> and um, so they're really hard and I really don't know if they're rubies or garnets or any, I don't know what they are, but I got a whole bunch a long time ago. And I've always tried to do something with them and I've heard that you could heat treat them uh, where they do like they make some kind of kiln and they heat treat them and then they come out all beautiful like they've been cut and sharpened and made into like beautiful gems but you know that's not true but uh recently i came upon a kiln on craigslist and we got it for a really good deal and it's a small one so i can keep it in the home my home and it's not like gonna overtake the garage and overtake me and everything like that so I got a small one that's for like glass work it goes up to about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit and I've been doing a lot of metal clay stuff and like I said I want to start doing more videos of my art and I want to do like journals where I draw or color or make beautiful images I guess beautiful to me um, like in a day like do one page a day or something I'd like to start doing some more stuff but today my journey is with you treating these so-called rubies, could be garnets. I went to a rocks uh, group on Facebook and they said they could be sa sapphires, rubies, garnets, um, but they should all be okay to go in the kiln because some of them explode, some rocks, and I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen. So I am scared, that's why I said I was a little scared, but uh, I have some rocks. I've looked at them all with flashlights. I've taken them and I've put them in a dark room. I've been in a dark room, turned the light off, and I've looked to make sure that they at least have some kind of pink, purple, red, some kind of color, so I'm not like just putting random stones in there. But they all came out of the box, those bags that said rubies on them. So when they said, yeah, they said they could be sapphires, they could be rubies, they could be garnets most likely garnets because they're not as good as rubies and so I've got my kiln heating up and I've looked through all the stones that I want to start using and because I was using metal clay that uses carbon um uh what's it called premium coconut carbon and these little silver well they're like um aluminum I guess they're probably aluminum cans and they have lids to them uh, it does say that they want you to either use the coconut carbon stuff with them or you can put uh, torch fire, but I'd like to do it for like two hours. So come on this journey with me and see what we end up with. I will show you right quick what they look like. They are ugly. They're, uh, let's see if I can get a good on there. They look like weird, kind of flat. They're all kind of flat. And they're not colorful. Oh, sorry. They're not colorful oh, at all. They're all really kind of gray and ugly, not looking good. But like I said, they have a really pretty pink color. And that's why I think they're garnets. They're not red at all. They're all just like purpley pink. Um, but I think, you know, since I do jewelry, I think if they came out, really more purple well this is not purple at all so anything better than this i might be able to do something with them and there i lost one um so yes i'm gonna show you the finished uh part of them and then maybe even some designs after i well that's if we don't you know explode anything god forbid please thanks um so yes come back and view this part two and if you like these videos or you want to see more of this, um, 
please like so I know that you guys are interested in this kind of stuff and uh, subscribe. I'm going to try to really do more videos, okay? Have a great day. Bye now. All right, guys, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to use our carbon fiber, coconut carbon, and these little, t well, I have a little kiln, so I bought these little aluminum canisters, and each one of these have a, has a lid. So we're going to just fill the bottom of it with a thin layer, because I don't want to have most of my stuff be the carbon. So I'm cheating a little bit, but you're supposed to put like a half inch layer there. And then I'm going to put my stones. Now I've checked these stones out with my flashlight and made sure that there's at least some type of pink color. So I'm not just putting random stones in there. Because you don't know what's going to happen. Some of those stones can explode and we don't want our kilns to explode because we love them, right? I mean, I like mine, so. All right, so we're just going to do another layer here. Just to give you an idea of what I'm going to put in my kiln. And then, um, so something happened to the video I did before, and so these are just an example. I have a uh, bigger canister, so when you see them in my kiln come out and they're like in bigger ones, I had to refilm this because I'm a loser and I, I had some issues. <laughs> well, anyways, okay, so this is what's going to go in the kiln. It's going to go in for two hours, but we have to hold the temperature at 1650 about that. Right now my kiln's heating up and they're in there actually. So we'll see what they look like after they get uh, to 1650 and we hold it for two hours. Right now it's at not even 1500. So bear with me and we'll see the results. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we got something good. All right, so it's been a long day because I've been doing this since uh, nine o'clock, I think. Uh, anyways, so I have my out of the kiln and cooled so I can touch it and I'm about to uh, uh, unveil this and let's I don't have a good feeling I feel like we did this and it's not gonna be anything so um, but we'll see all right so this is the unveiling I'm gonna open it up for you guys and myself for the first time all right okay so, we're going to take the bowl, and then I have some screens that I can kind of use to um, kind of like take this stuff. Hopefully it's not really hot, and we'll see. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think it did anything. This stuff's lighter gray color, but... I don't know. I don't think it did anything. They're kind of warm still. At least it didn't explode, right? <laughs> I mean, they're they're like I don't know, like light gray stuff. Not really any color. Put those to the side, I guess, here. They're a lot different colored than that, though. Maybe if I wash them off. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna keep going, and we'll... Maybe they need to be tumbled, too. definitely lighter colored than the stuff they started off being. But nothing's really um, purple. I got this other one here too. Yeah, kind of like I figured. I wasted my time. But Maybe if I wash them off, they'll actually look like something. Ah, but you never know without trying, huh? <laughs>
They are definitely lighter colored, so I don't know what that's about. I'll show you when I get all the... That one turned out pink. That one turned out pink. Can you see that one's purplish colored? I don't know. So, okay. So that's them. Maybe they're only purple where they are supposed to be purple. I don't know. Like, there's, like, certain... When I put the light up to them, like, they didn't all shine purple. They had little spots on them. And that's... That looks to me like, you know, where they're going to be purple. Like, that one is really purple, though. All right, so what my next step is, is I'm gonna wash them off and maybe this carbon's on them. I'm not sure, but I have a brass brush and I will, uh, we'll see. Now the dark brown color, that is what they started off being. This is after heat treating them, okay? I'll come back after I wash them off. All right. So here's some that I washed and they don't look any different. <laughs> so washing them off didn't help. While I was washing them off, I thought maybe if I put them in the tumbler, we might be able to get some of that dark stuff off and maybe uncover some more of that purple stuff. Like that right there is definitely purple and it was not purple at all. I mean, a lot of these have like a purple color to them. I think they're purple. They could be like a... I don't see any red stuff, of really. But, you know, we don't know. I don't know. But uh, maybe tumbling them. I think I'll do the tumbling, and then I'll come back and show you exactly what they look like after that. But I think we got a lot of stuff to see afterwards. See, that's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's purple. It's not red. None of this is red, but it's still pretty. I love purple anyways. Um, so, yeah. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and uh, comment and let me know what you want to see next or if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Um, I'm, I'm trying to do some more videos towards the, uh, maybe art journals or something like that. Um, but I want to try to, like I said, put this in the tumbler and then I'll do another video of what that looks like or the process of that, I guess. All right, you guys have a great day and thanks for hanging in there with me today.